guys, so right now I'm animating this mantle bulb after seeing Annihilation, and um, I want to, in Nuke, uh, obviously in Motion, I want to include all of these bits of um, dust that I've uh, put into the kind of rough Photoshop comp. Um, but I just wanted to show you really quickly how important it is to export an Alembic uh, cache of everything um, and transfer it over to Nuke so you can kind of have a little bit better locational data so you can you know sift things around in Nuke and uh, kind of know where you are in relation to your image. The Alembic that I imported from Houdini is quite heavy uh, which will not really work. You don't want to be working off of a five, 5 gigabyte Alembic file. Um, so what I like to do is just add a cube and generally put it where it's supposed to be. The other thing you want to do is quickly make a new file so that um, you can delete things out of the scene for the Olympic conversion. The lights really don't matter in this circumstance. Um, you can keep a couple of them, some of the main ones, in case you want to add like a lens flare or something like that through optical flares, but um, for the most part they're really not necessary. The other thing you're going to want to do is rename your ca your cameras um, so that it's a little bit easier to look at in Nuke and you know exactly what you're importing. Rencam wide and the one I'm currently looking out of is Rencam close up. Of course if you name it correctly to begin with you wouldn't have to rename them. but so the next thing you want to do is go to File, Export, Alembic. Make sure your end frame, it's going to default to 90, so just make sure that your end frame matches. Frame Step 1, Subframes, Scale. Okay, in the General tab, um, we don't have any splines, we don't have any hair, we don't have any XRefs, we don't have any subdivision surfaces. Um, so yeah, you just have to do cameras, and that's about it. And optional data, none of this we really need. Default settings, more than okay. All right, now so we're in Nuke. We're gonna wanna do a read geo node. Go to the path. and look for the Olympic file and open. Okay, now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. So you want to go ahead and find your cameras and right click and select this parent. And then in your geo node, right click, select this parents. Um, pretty much you're going to want to, anything you want an actual node for, you want to select this parent. Everything else can either be deselected or it can just be a child. Um, and then you want to always hit create parents as separate nodes. All right. Let's create a scene for all these to live in. And drop down a scan line render just to make sure everything's working correctly. Obviously, we're in the wider shot in this one. And then the other thing I like to do is go ahead and make these texture plus water. Okay, so we're already running to an issue because I'm an asshole and did not make the project settings the correct amount. All right, here we go. So now, if we look, everything is in the correct place. And now we have a nice 3D reference for our scene. 
where we can definitely put in some cards if say we wanted to put like I said I've got these uh, dust particles that I want to make sure I'm placing correctly and in the right Z depth so now I can place them all correctly and just before I can always just make sure my render is off for both of these and now that's just a nice reference yeah, this is, again, very short. Uh, I just wanted to mention it in case anybody was wondering. And because uh, Olympics uh, can get a little bit hairy, I would say just make sure you simplify your scene as much as possible in Cinema 4D before exporting. Um, all the defaults kind of normally, you know, work. Uh, don't be afraid. Since it's just a reference, Don't, and you're never going to render anything in Nuke, so you can use super low poly stuff like a cube to, you know, to signal what what is what. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped somebody. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on this, I'm more than happy to do that. However, this is Houdini, and um, it was a variation of Intagma's tutorial um, where I included an animation. Um, so I'm more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comment section. Thanks.